I am joined here with Michael. Hello, hello, how are you? <laughs> good, good. Um, down at Player One. So it's a little little gem of a place in Perth in terms of having um, uh, vintage arcade machines because there's not a lot of people, not, not a lot of places that uh, have a setup like this. No, not really, no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are free to play. So, yeah. yeah. I Would, guess there's that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this, this, tell me a little bit just about this place that you've got because you've got a bit of a, a mix of stuff guys and we'll get, we'll look around here and we'll show you what's here obviously we're going to focus on the arcade machines but you've got a lot of other stuff here in terms yeah. of general gaming and music oh uh, yeah basically it's a music school so you come here to learn music right and then i just find that other music schools that i've been to and you know it's it's like you come in you sit down you have your lesson then you go home right it's supposed to be fun so i've put i've put games in right and then it gives me an excuse to keep more games <laughs> right okay yeah, that's pretty much it okay yeah. what we're going to do is we shall swing around and have a look at each machine and show you what uh what michael's got okay let's Sounds get into good. it all right michael so first of all we are going to have a look at your cocktail machines yes for sure and <laughs> i must admit i i freaked out when i came here down here the first time and saw that you had a defender cocktail yes because i mean these aren't very common are they no well this one's um that's actually an american one so it's Right. It's running on 110 volts. Right. Uh, it takes quarters, but I've set it to free play. But yeah, it okay. does take quarters. Um, so but, did, you, did you did you import this yourself? Or? No, uh, Roy, who right. I'm sure you know. Right. I think you've your um actually your marble cocktail, the one yes. you got recently, that was from Roy, was right? From Roy. That's him. Yeah. <laughs> so that's actually still his. Uh, some of these actually are still his. Uh, he refuses to sell them. So, right. he, yes. And he needs the space to put them, doesn't he? <laughs> and he needs the space to put them. And I need the machines without having to, yeah. you know, become poor. Yeah. So, oh, well, that's a good arrangement, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I maintain them and restore them. Like this, you know, a lot of the ones I got from him needed a little bit of help. Um, none of the lights were going. And this monitor is really bright and I cannot turn it down. Right. So, I don't know. It's like a resistor. Something wrong with the pot. Of yeah. The, but I haven't... Yeah, but it's it's good. Uh, it's a really hard game. <laughs> yeah, Defender. I mean, I mean, I love Defender, but uh, yeah, I mean, again, back in the day, I, I didn't want to spend too too much on it because you just don't have a, a long. No, <laughs> no, you don't. Like the sound the, of it. The sound of it is just crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, because you, you can only go up and down. Yeah. And then you thrust, and you got to change direction. And it's a pain. But I kind of figured, you know, if you let these guys, I'll oh, kill him. But you can see them on the map up there. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. a good example. Um, but you can see them on the map. Oh, I don't want to do that. And then you kind of keep an eye on them grabbing the people down the bottom. That's right. Um, yeah, that one over there, he's got one. Yeah. So, there, yeah, save that person. Or you don't have to put them down straight away. You can no, sort that's of. It. In fact, I saw someone as a bit of a, yeah, a technique. You can oh. hang on to them so that you don't end up in deep space. Oh, is that what? Yeah. yeah. You know, if you keep one under ah. you and you and you lose all the guys on the ground. Oh, okay. It's um, one uh, strategy done. someone can take. Yeah. Yeah, that's no. as, that's about as good as I am. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Now this one next next one, <laughs> you were just saying as I came in that this is a uh, a new one for you. Yeah, as of this morning, I just um I, I wired up this plug. Right. There you go. I, I'm not an electrician, but I, <laughs> but I did it. Cool. Um, it's um, it's a bit it's it's a bit weird. Um, the monitor's got a it's getting there. It was really horrible when I first got it, and there's lines everywhere. Right. You know, kind of, what are we like, that sort of a you know. Yeah. All these lines, but you know, it's hard to see right inside here. That's right, and at least you've got access to some of the pots here, because sometimes yeah. the boards aren't quite as accessible. No, um, there's like stuff time. down there. I got there was one main one down there near near the death wire. Yeah, um, that's right. <laughs> you don't want to be sticking your hand down there. Yeah, and there's no there's no sound on it at the moment, but right. it's um it's a return of return uh, of the of, invaders. The yeah. return of the invaders. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's you can't shoot the blue ones. You can shoot the red ones, but the blue ones, yeah, they just, see, they just, they just, drop, they yeah. just wreck your all bullets. And they have those big ones that have the uh, green sides that shoot Yeah, that's really on fast. the, that's on the next level, yeah. yes. It's a great game, I actually really like this version. Yeah, I kind of, when I, when I first put it on, I was like, yeah, what can I make this cabinet? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm doing this all with one hand, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yes, Yeah, uh, here, these, these guys, those guys there. Yeah, that's the guys. They'll, yeah, that thing. It, and they just, Done. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't have time to move away from it. 
Uh, so, here, so are yeah, you, were done. you thinking maybe you would convert this to maybe something else? Well, I've actually got a slap fight board. Right. And slap fight is actually one of the most popular games that I have here. Okay. Do you know slap fight? Actually, I don't know slap fight. It's called slap Alcon fight. in America. Ah, uh, right. It's just a flyer, like a raid and one player raid yeah. type game where you get upgrades and you buy them. Um, I have that inner cabinet that's at my house that I've actually converted that cabinet into a Pac-Man because it's more popular right. looking. But, but slap fight though, I might put it into there. Because yeah, okay. it's a it's a two player, you know, it'll it'll flip and it's a two button. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, we'll move it around. This and, one that you want. This is another one that, um, that may end up disappearing at some stage. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. No, but uh, the, for, for the viewers that watch my show, uh, they know that I'm a I just want to get a vector. Yeah. In, in, yeah. Any, any vector, but I mean asteroids is just like the classic. Yeah. I I mean you know, there's some of these games like I you know, you get Asteroids and you play it on MAME and you're like, eh, eh, whatever. But then this shows up. Have you seen how bright these bullets are on this thing? I know. That's like, the thing. And the, the video just won't capture it. No, but that... Oh, yeah, actually, it might capture that because look how bright it is. <laughs> yeah, crazy, like, I don't remember that. So now I really like this. There's a lot of burn-in on the, on the monitor. Yeah. And I don't know how to... I mean, I've got plenty of monitors this size, but not vectors. Like, I don't this, know. Is, this is really, I mean, it, on camera you get the glow around the bullets, yeah. but what you don't get is the sheer luminosity of it. Yeah. It's really like someone getting a little pencil light yeah. and, and just shot, shining yeah. at you. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. Like that, that's that bright. Yeah, so I really like this now, and it's got the. Well, there's versions where you use a joystick. Yes. Now, this is the, you know, yeah, this is using the left and right to rotate, yeah. which I think is great. All right, we're well, moving around. We're going to uh, have a look at a penny. Now, you've got this. This is your only penny? At, uh, at the moment, is yes. This, is this yours? It is, yes. Awesome. Yeah. When, when did you pick this up? Oh, about, about three years ago. I okay. got that one. When I first started this place, I thought I probably need a pinball machine. Yeah. My friend was selling one. It's got Keanu Reeves. It's fire, fine. Fire up a ball for me, mate, because this, this is one that I don't actually see around a lot. Yeah, apparently, it, I don't know, like, I, I really like it, but I know what's going on now. Right. You know, skill shot, easy, you know, get all three and you get them. Um, but you've got these, uh, well, that was a good start. So you've got mode ready, right. which is going into crazy bobs, lights the mode. Right. So right up the middle there is to start the mode. Um, so if I can do it, which I can't. Um, uh, let's try and catch her. No. Uh, I'm not going to do this. No, nah, almost there. But anyway, that middle bit, you start a mode. Oh, there. That's to start the, you know. Making a long distance phone call. Making a long distance phone call. Uh, I can't do it. I'm under pressure now. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, you got all the, those modes and you start them and they're all good and then you can go through here and up there and light extra things. And there's... It's like a pretty free-flowing sort of table. Yeah. Fair to say. I mean, you've got, you've got quite a few ramps and yeah. fairly you know, spacious in the middle here. Yeah. Well, this glove here will grab the ball. If you're starting a mode, it'll grab it and drop it down there. Um, or if you're going into there, you drag it, you move it across with these other buttons. Um, I'd, I'd like to show you that, but I just can't even. <laughs> and then, yeah, you drop them into the, that matrix there, and this is like if you get three in a row, you get a multi ball, and they're the bonuses. And there's a lot, there's a lot to learn on it. So that, I don't know, it might be why people didn't really like it. I think if they'd waited, and made it uh, Matrix, yeah, then maybe right. this would have been, the the theme, you know, maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, this next one, yeah. Vindicators, this is a odd, well, not an oddball, but yeah. it's not, I don't know, it's not one that I sort of... Well, you can get a t-shirt, really see that? Know. Yeah, this t-shirt thing, explain, yeah. explain this again. Um, if you can beat the contest level uh, before October 1st, 88, you get a t-shirt. <laughs> So, it's slightly late. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm thinking though, because next year, that's 30 years, right? Right. I might make some t-shirts. Nice. Because idea. I've seen the competition level. It's not easy. No, no one's getting a t-shirt. <laughs> no one's getting a t-shirt. Nah. I, so I, I'm, I'm pretty safe. I feel like I'll be pretty safe to say, yeah, 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 free t-shirt. <laughs> and then might have to make one or two. Um, but it's cool. I, I'd never heard of it. You know, you know how it is. Something comes up on Gumtree that's cheap, and you're like, "Oh, well, I'll just get it." Yeah, because especially when it's original, right? Yeah, that's the thing. This and thing it's is completely original. Yes, 
I love these little tracks. Yeah. Like on the bottom, like well, it's, it's a little... Like a tank. Like a, yeah, a little Don't tank. Don't be a zombie. Yeah. Play yeah, thanks, Ice-T. So you saved this, really, haven't you? I have, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd like to think so. Yeah. It, it does have artwork to go on the front here that was completely wrecked. Right. But it's on a shiny, um, shiny metallic, uh, like, sticker. You know, like old trading cards, they'd always have the fancy shiny one. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what it's on. Oh, okay. I don't know how I'm going to do that again. Um, okay. Plus, this isn't that common as like, or that important as a game. Mm. You know, like you can find the side artwork for pretty much anything. Yeah. But not this one. Not this one. Such a cool game. I mean, because the controls, you've got. It'll tell you. You've got you triggers on the, on the back, haven't you? you got, yeah, it, um, it'll show you right now. Go to the demo. So you got both forward and you go forward. Or the, the way you're facing, not That's up. It. Yeah. yeah. And then it's. Turning like yeah. a rotate, like, yep. Yeah. As yeah. you'd expect with a tank, but then yep. the button on the, the top, top rotate. Don't waste your time on that. Yeah, it ruins it's, everything. It's, yeah, that's right. So the gun rotates with that, and that's yeah. the challenge with the game, eh? Like, well, these buttons actually um, don't. Well, here, like you can't rotate the, them to start with. You've actually got to get all this fuel, otherwise, you run out of fuel. Right. Uh, the stars are money, so you collect the money. The music is amazing. I, 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 this, this to me was a real hidden gift, and it's one that I think you can't take it at No, exactly. That was also my reason for getting it, because I've never heard of it. Um, yeah. I think I have spun it up and made it before, but, but of course, you know, without having the controls, yeah. Yeah, it's pointless. Yeah. So here, I've got some money. I got. I got seven dollars, right. so I'll buy this gun rotation. Now I can rotate them. You know, and you can add smart uh, yeah. bombs and all this kind of stuff. And that's the other thing, of course. There's you, upgrades. You actually got to upgrade yeah. before the part of the controls work. <laughs> yes, but and then it does this, so you can you know rotate. But now, now I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. I can't, I can't do everything at well, once. That's the skill, isn't it? <laughs> no, seriously, like, I'm, I'm, I mean, to get good at this, to be able to yeah. rotate the tank, rotate the top turret. I guess it's for like, yeah, strafing and running away. Yeah. But I'm just, yeah. But when I got this, those buttons. Well, actually, these controllers didn't work at all. So I fixed them up, but these buttons inside here just didn't work. So these ones I haven't actually bothered fixing because I did those ones. They're old mechanical keyboard. Uh, you know, when you the old keyboards, the real clicky ones? Yeah, it's yeah. the switches from them wow. that's sitting in there. So I've got an old one of them and pulled them out and put them into there, got it all going, and then realized this is ridiculous i can't do this so i haven't actually bothered with the second players yet right. you know? the next one here we have well this one's like a generic lai uh, it is, isn't it? thing i got it the monitor was gone like the back smashed you right. know um it so you put an you put an lcd in oh uh, yeah yeah for now because this size is really odd it is actually yeah so uh, even Joe, uh, Joe Mac, yeah. said it's, you know, pff, good luck. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> so for now, it's got an LCD, which is actually a pretty good LCD, this one. It's sure. like... Oh, I must admit, it, it looks pretty good. Yeah, well, I've kept the bezel in, and it kind of fits exactly the same. Yeah. But I... The only thing that gives it away is a slight flat appearance. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and obviously, you're not getting scan lines. But what, what do you... What do you, are you Are you running an original board? <laughs> no, here not or? at all. No, nah, this one, I just... Because it's because it's like an LAI right. thing, I just put a PC in. That'll yeah, do. Yeah, cool. And you've got just a couple of USB drives. I haven't seen yeah. those ones before. Yeah, those are the cheapest things you can get. They're, oh. like, they're like $7. Oh, right. Just uh, on eBay or...? Uh, yep, yep. Uh, they're USB and they'll do, you know, 12 buttons or something crazy. And I've, I'm running, um, I, like, I really like Strike Force. Right. Now I have this on, this is like, this is why I put the Strike Force artwork because this game, I mean, you like Defender. Yeah. So, you know, okay, so they have Robotron. Yeah. And then after Robotron, there was Smash TV. Yes. I mean, yeah. Okay, so this yeah. is basically Defender as a Smash TV, well, kind of. Well, you're going to have to show me a game here, because <laughs> okay. funnily enough, yeah. this isn't one I've, I've actually done. No. I've got everything in main, but why this, haven't I seen this? Well, this is definitely like better as a two-player game. Right. So you've got, like the control panel, you should have four buttons. So that's, so I'm the purple guy. So you got the defender, see the map up the top oh, there? Yeah, very so similar, the middle button is shoot. And then you've got the other buttons, which are like changing this second weapon and then firing the weapon. So you've got all these guys hanging off the bottom and it'll shoot for you. Yeah, right. It really uh, is like an updated Defender, isn't it? Yeah, with that hectic side, like, um, things. But then I can also change who I am and I become, like, a secondary weapon on you so you can move around and I can shoot. 
there. Wow. And we just got to go through each planet and kill all the dinosaurs and and then leave. Oh, try and keep the people with you, but yeah. And then you just go like this one's the pilot, so I'm going to go over to that planet. Well, Done. I'm, I'm definitely going to give this <laughs> yeah. some time because yeah. yeah I, that's just bizarre. What, what year is this? It's like like 90s, um, is it? Yeah, hang on, I'll re see. Oh, no. So I'm running um, um, attract mode on this one. Okay. Uh, 91 strike force. 91. Yeah. Yeah. So this is attract mode. That's what's in here. I've just kind of got 230 games. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's, which is probably more than I need. But it's a nice front end. Basically. It is. Yeah. It's um. It's got the Moon Patrol cabinet. Yeah. I could swap that to be a Robotron. Yeah, nice. <laughs> um, but. You know, it's got this kind of stuff, um, stuff that's easy enough. But yeah, I always put strike force on track and field. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is my take on a Tato cabinet. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, I built this one. Right. Uh, nice. So scratch build. Yeah, scratch build. Um, Good job. You've obviously got some woodworking skills there, Michael. Uh, I yeah, I'm getting better at it. Yeah. <laughs> this was the second one I built uh, with another guy, Justin. We and sort of. Did, did you um, model this on? This looks like it's modelled on like a Galaga type of camera. Uh, no, this is a this is a Tato. Oh, no, okay, yeah, yeah, so you're it's, right. it's yeah, actually, the, as close as I could get, yeah, just from yeah. like plans online and just getting a pencil and just just drawing. Yeah. This wasn't. I don't use protractors. Yeah. I don't know. This is just a draw it, and we cut out one side, clamped it to another, and did the router and yeah, and did that. Uh, the inside. I mean, the control panel's obviously not. Um, how did you do that, by the way? It was just, you get it was that just sort just... of through three mil metal. Right. It's like a sheet. A sheet on one side. There's like foam in the middle and a sheet on the other side. Okay. You just cut it, and then you kind of carve out a bit on the back and just bend it. And then bend it over. That'll do. Nice. And then the graphics on here. Uh, yeah. Um, Julian, who you might know, yeah. I don't know he's here. I haven't, I haven't contacted him. You haven't him met yet, of, You haven't met him yet. Yes. Yeah. He um, he works at Fitzgerald at the photo place. Right. And, and how they, the hell did he do that though? Because this looks like, what is it? How has he it's, got um, it's a laminated um, vinyl sticker. Wow, really? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a total thing, isn't it? This yeah. actually, look, it just looks like this is painted on. Yeah. It was, nice. like, it was really nice quality, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. I haven't done the bezel for this yet, because really nice. it should, and he did this as well. You know, that's, yeah. that's just this. That's an awesome quality. Yeah. Wow. But you know, but it's also this one's also main. It's ah. this is my like throw everything on. Right. Six thousand and sixty-five games. Right. Everything's there. Yeah, five thousand nine hundred of them are junk. Uh, what's you know. Your, what's your front end you're using? This here? is Marla. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is just an easy. Easy to set up. If it? you have an old version of Mame, if yeah. you have a new version of Mame, it's not so easy. But right. it's just it's fine. You know, and I've because Kix originally has one joystick and two buttons. Yes. So I've done two joysticks, two buttons. I think the game that gets played the most on this will be Bubble Bubble. Yeah, Just, okay. you know, that, that, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty popular. Or I'm Sorry. Have you ever seen I'm Sorry? Yeah, I have actually. <laughs> it's an odd one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the Japanese Prime Minister. Yeah. Stealing money. <laughs> getting whipped by a guy. Yeah, really <laughs> odd. Uh, this is another one of Roy's. Oh, and look at this. Oh yeah. my goodness. I mean, this is, this is another thing you just don't see, right? Yes. Just, these don't come up at all. No. Unfortunately, it's got an LCD for now. Right. For now. Uh, because when I turned the other one on, you know when you turn on a monitor and you can see electricity? <laughs> yeah. That's bad, right? That's out of the, pretty bad. Out of the, flight, the yeah. suction y thing, just yeah, all this yeah. spark. So I, I've turned it off. Right. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll get around to that. But, it, you know, it's, it's all good. Um, if you can, like the trick with this game is easy, you pass it and you get about 30, you pass the first level or so and you get about 30,000 points. If you can pass the first level in hard, you get 600,000 points. Yeah, I can't do it. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you. You got this, this joystick here is like, you know, backwards, forwards, you know, and turning and shoot. This is the same it's, yoke. I was going to say, it's the Star Wars, it's the original <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah, it's the same one. This one is actually from a Star Wars. Okay. Um, they're really hard to find, and they're expensive as well. Yes. Well, I have two of them, which is good. Uh, the Ewoks are around. They're trying to help, but they don't. They throw rocks on you. Uh, oh, this oh, is. Some, do, you, do you like this this game though? I actually, uh, I actually do. Yeah. yeah. Is it one you have to give some time? Yeah. Because... Uh, yeah, because it. Well, it's weird because if you put it on easy, oh, see, this is, this is terrible. If you put it on easy and you try, it's it's hard, 
But then you find that sometimes it just sort of starts on its own, and if you don't, nah, I'm dead. <laughs> if you don't touch it, it'll just pass the first level yeah, yeah. without you having to do anything. Right. So kind of, yeah. Um, so yeah, easy is just the same thing. But then, you know, you go and then you're in the Millennium Falcon and you're going the same way, but then you get the end, you got to go back this way. And then you're in the AT, um, you know, ATST, or I, I don't know which one you're in. And then you're going that way and then it's, yeah. But you know, you've got two options with these guys is to sort of knock them off into trees. Like that. How does the controls work on this? Uh, this left and right. Be, yeah, left and right. And, and then, then forward, backwards. Forward and back. Yeah. Your, yeah. And again, it's all in the controls, isn't it? That it is. Like, probably yeah. this game yeah. than it would be on main. Well, yeah, when I knew this was coming, I put it on this one and right. it was ridiculous. Right. You know, left and right. Nah, it's got to be gradual. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is my empty spot where Outrun's going to go. Yeah, right. Once yeah. we fix that. Once we fix that. And, and, and it's just nice that you've got it out of there so we can see the side oh, art yes. or moon, moon Patrol. Yes, and, uh, yeah. Original uh, patina there from the, from the age yes. of this cabinet. Yeah, yeah. And is this one yours? No, this is Roy's. This is Roy's. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. he's got some good games. He does, there. he does. So, Roy, if you do end up watching <laughs> this... Mate, I've, uh, I've got tabs on all of your machines because <laughs> they're just ah. Oh, yes. Moon, Moon Patrol itself is um, uh, it's a no. it's a great game. It's a classic, right? Well, it's yeah. Classic. Again, it's that, that that whole you know play it on Mame, and it's like yeah, because it's always on those multi boards. Mm. You know, it's always there, and I always I never really got it until you get this actual this leaf switch. You know, yeah. joystick and hearing that music coming through this speaker, you yeah, know, fine. And you, and you could be, you know, I always, you know, confused by this. I mean, who's playing this way, really? Yeah. Come on, you learn this, you know. Like, <laughs> um, this, this, this was a game for me that I, I actually played, you know, quite a bit back in the arcade. Yeah, okay. And the thing that got me, I think this was one of the first games that had the parallax scrolling. Oh, okay, yes. You know, yeah, at yeah. the time, it looked like, wow, this is like really 3D. Yes, <laughs> yeah. It looks so real. It looks so real, yeah. yeah. On the moon. Yeah. Um, but the cabinet, mate, I, I just think this cabinet is gorgeous. Yes. I really do. It's, yeah. Uh, it's just, the, it, just even the shape of it, the fact that it's more of an upright monitor position. Yeah. It's just... It's that, well, the Williams cabinets are my favourites. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. And next to it? This is my Robotron. <laughs> I built this one. Yeah, nice. And um, it looks like you built it almost to spec. And, I mean, they're not exactly the same cabinets as the, as the Moon Patrol anyway. No, that one's not, no. Yeah. No, because I thought that, but it's actually, it is slightly shorter. Yeah. It has this weird yeah. sort of thing. The control panel, though, should be exactly the same. Right. And I'm working on that. Okay. Because I'm building another cabinet that you'll see soon right. that needs that control panel, which is the same as that. Okay. But this one's actually wider than uh, Moon Patrol. Moon Patrol's 580, and this one's like 620. Is it really? Yeah. Oh my God, it doesn't seem like it's yeah. so much wider. You got this. I, I love this game. Um, I was, for a while there, I was pretty good at it. You know, 400 and something thousand. But you know, you, you know this game? I absolutely do, yeah. Yeah, collect yeah, the people, yeah. kill everybody. Yeah, and it's, just, it's just hectic as all hell. Yeah. It's uh, one that get, once you start getting up the little yeah. thing, it just gets... And all the brains and they yeah. turn everybody against you. The next, of course, needs no introduction. Yes, yes. Donkey Kong now, is this yours? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Roy's as well. It is it? Roy's, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's, and it's another import, of course, isn't it? It is. And I've been doing live streams on me trying to pass the elevator level on this. Right. Because I, I can't. I'm just not good at it. Well, they come in. Yeah, like, I, I reckon I can do it. I reckon I can get to the second level. <laughs> now, you're, now you're under pressure. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I, I just find even this first, out of all of them, I actually find this this, this level. level somewhat hardest because it's just with the random barrels and stuff. Yeah, well, in the standard version, if you're like here or something, the barrel won't come down. Whereas here, it's going to come down and kill you. Right. Is that's just what it's going to do? Yeah. So here, I'll try and. That may have ruined my plans by stopping. Um, Did you play this back in the day? Um, sort of. Yeah. I think we. Oh, that was your fault. <laughs> no. No. So um, I, yeah, I sort of did, but I. I, mo I mainly had consoles, and I think, you know, back in my day was early 90s, late 80s, so, you know, we had all the... Oh, what is that? See? See what I mean? <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> okay, last last chance. Um, yeah, we, you know, Snow Brothers and, and Bubble Bubble and yeah, yeah. Wonder Boy, 
Uh, arcades. All, stuff. Yeah, all the low boy stuff that was in the bowling alley. You know, that was that was pretty much it. Um, and then, you know, but I had mostly consoles, had all the Sega stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm, you know, I'm a Sega person. That's me. Right. So, you know, when you all had the PlayStation, you're all playing all those amazing games. Yeah. I had a Saturn. But Sega, I, Sega just makes some great, like, I mean, Sega, Konami, um, Namco, I mean, they're just the big heavyweights for me. Yeah, yeah. So, I, yeah, I wasn't too into, here we go, done. Nice. Um, so then, okay, so yeah, so all of these flames, they're just, they're just there, straight away. Here's one, there's the other, there, and they're fast. And they're, they seem fast. They're, they're very fast. They seem very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they want you dead. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then it's just, yeah, it's like they're all there. Whereas the other version, you might, you know, they'll probably be like three by now. Yeah, yeah. Same sort of pattern kind of works, but, but yeah, it's still, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's Well, that. that's interesting, isn't it? I guess you don't know what ports that you have to, yeah. you know. Well, the serial number on this is like 31,000 or something. Right. So apparently after 30,000, they went, oh, people are getting too good at this. Let's right. make it harder. Next up. Here's Q-Bird. my, here's my Cuba. Mm, uh... This was a, this is mine. Right. This was a generic cabinet from I'm assuming the UK because it takes a pound oh, wow. so I, yeah I got this thing and it was it had a couple of game boards in it but it didn't work um, the boards work but the, the monitor and everything all the controls were done you know like no there was nothing so I've been you know I've been setting up like that kicks cabinet with other games you know for kids to play and Qbert's in Wreck-It Ralph and Pixels Yes. So I put it on there. Um, have you played Cuba? Yeah, I have. So with the with the actual with the, joystick? With the, with the diagonal. Back in the day, I did. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, and and of course you have to have the diagonal joystick. Yeah, you, you can do. Sort of do it on MAME and you can set your diagonals. And you sort of can, but I mean, I was sort of playing it standing like this, so you can sort of get that angle. Going, right, if I go that way, that'll yeah. work. But then putting this, this is just one of those um those Australian made. Right, you know those joysticks. Yeah, just on a 45 degree angle. Yep. Um, this is just running a computer um, because, you know. Yeah, it's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, and that was the prototype. Um, yes, I remember that. Thing. Yes. I mean, this isn't the right size. The marquee is normally about this big, but yeah. I'm not, you know. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, it works. This, I've got to replace this because it's too short. You know, when you go to Bunnings and you buy everything except for what you need. And I was like, that much too short. So it'll do. It's holding the perspex in place. Yeah. It's got a light there. It'll do. It's cool. I'm, um, you know. Are you good at Cubit? I'm. Um, I'll come around. The well, I don't really know. I mean, what do you consider good? <laughs> I could, it's, it's a tough game. I mean, I, I can, I can sort of barely get to like the third level. I mean, and I'm out. Okay, so well, I, yeah, you got to wait for this guy to be close and then jump onto that, and he falls off. Yeah. Five hundred points. The thing with this game is, it was made by Gottlieb. Yes. The pinball people. So it had, you know, when you get a high, um, like an extra credit on pinball and it has that yeah, it's bang. Got, yeah, because it's got a knocker in it, right? Yeah, this, well, this yeah. one doesn't, but the original, the original thing did, does. Right? So this would happen all the time. This, here, Sorry. bang. And, you know. What a nice touch, eh? Oh, it, it'd be so <laughs> annoying. Every time the pinball machine goes bang here, yeah. people are like, oh, what have I done? Yeah, true. Right. So Actually, imagine doing right. that every level, twice a level. Uh, so <laughs> those knockers are huge. They're really loud. Yeah. Pinball uh, thing, right? swears yeah <laughs> so they'll be the same they'll be the same sort of uh, loudness <laughs> as a pinball machine yeah, yeah it'd be it'd ridiculous be <laughs> so this thing they're always going to spawn on those top two ones see where that one landed mm-hmm. they're always going to land on one of them oh, i don't know why i went on there that was dumb um and then they won't come back so he's this guy he's once he's over there he's not going to be able to get me yeah but this snake can he's coming right for me all the well his name's coily coily yeah which is i think kylie Um, you know so it's kind of oh yeah it's just such a unique game isn't it I mean because I you know I remember when this came out it was like it was Space Invaders Galaxia and you know and you look look at this and it's like what the hell yeah (laughs) well then you got these guys that speak a weird language and they've they're on the wrong they're on an opposite plane I think he's either ug or wrong way (laughs) and they're just on this weird 
Actually, one thing about this, Michael, I don't know if, you're, oh, if, you, if yeah. you see this too. Yeah. If I look too long at that pyramid, it yeah. reverses on me. Oh, really? <laughs> you know how you look at those I'm things? I'm not even going to, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even going to try and see that because then I'll, yeah. I'll never unsee it. No, and then right. the, you'll ruin the game for me. <laughs> I'll put my initials in even. Next up is... Uh, a low boy. A low boy. Yeah, with a Neo Geo single slot. Okay. Yeah. The actual real hardware. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Running. Nice. Got, I've got Metal Slug. I've got Metal Slug Two. Yep. Um, uh, three or four other games, but this one's only got the three buttons. So oh. I think the other games are the four button. Yeah. The maybe four, four button. Uh, you pretty much not for all Neo Geo. No, the Metal Slug only uses three. Yeah. You know, Wind Jammers only uses two. But yeah. but yeah, you know, but Metal Slug this this gets played a lot. It's a classic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And what's really cool, because it's set to free play, you can just pass it. It takes about half an hour. Yeah, that's it. But then it tells you at the end. Have you ever passed Metal Slug? Uh, I have from doing free play just continuously. Yeah. I haven't done it recently, but I have got it. Yeah. It's cool. My kids were in earlier. They do it. A four-year-old and an eight-year-old. Right. Every weekend they pass it. But it tells you at the end how many credits you used. Oh, really? Which is cool. Actually, I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's good. Yeah. Which is this one is actually a 19-in-1. Okay. Have you seen the 19-in-1 boards? Uh, no, I haven't. But you know the 60 in one boards? Yeah, I know the 60 in one This board. is the same thing, but it's horizontal. Right. And it's 19. I've blocked, I've turned off 15 of the games. So at the moment I've got Joust, Mario, Super Mario, and Ice Climber. Yeah, okay. So and I swap them out. definitely not as popular. I mean, obviously, if you've got a horizontal one, then obviously that's, that's yeah. wrong. But I've, I see the 60 in ones all the time. Yeah. Generally, no. And they're, the, yeah. But I think, yeah, but you know, like some of the games on here are great. This has Bubbles. This has Robotron. It has Defender, Stargate. Oh, it's all the classics, yeah. right? Yeah. Isn't it? But the Defender and Stargate use this, oh, you know, to go left yeah, and right and up and down. So, yeah. But it's fine. Like, it, it all works well. Um, Joust is Joust great. Joust is a favourite. Yeah. And, and I, I, I'm kind of liking Mario Brothers now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to build one of those cabinets. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, but, I haven't been a big Mario guy, but um, yeah. again, probably just need to give it some time. It's just those weird controls, like Ice Climber. You know, yeah. you can't, um, you can't just jump and then change direction in this in the air yeah like i don't need the demonstration i've seen it um but yeah you you sort of you have to be going the way you want to go um like uh jumping here and it's it it won't move no. you've actually got to be move and jump yeah and and to get these you got to hit them from below yeah. uh, and then try and get up and kick him and then he's done. It's kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it yeah. is a favourite of mine. Yes. Um, but you've got some problems with this one. Yes. Um, I, yeah. <laughs> the steering and pedals right. uh, work maybe one or two days out of a month. Weird. Yeah, it's really weird. And it's not like the steering wheel will work and the pedals won't. It's all or nothing. I've, I've changed the potentiometers, right. you know, they're just sitting there for now, but, yeah. but they haven't made a difference. So that's kind of good because then at least the original pots are still good. So I'll just, these are just cheap, you know, 5k just to test them really. Right. And then, so it turns out they haven't made a difference. So I'm going to leave them in until these work and then I'll just put them, you know, wire up the proper ones back again because yeah. I'm not going to keep cheap ones in there if the good ones are working. Sure. Uh, but other than that, it all it all works. Yeah. This is a this is a Sinistar. Uh, I don't know if you know Sinistar. I, I do know of it. I don't play it a lot. Okay, this is another build. I'm building this, right. obviously, as you can see. Yeah. Um, see these tables here. When we moved into this spot, there was like ten of them. Right. This is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you hacked up a table. Yeah, turned it into a machine. I love that. So I clamped this yeah. to the side of Moon Patrol, ah. because Sinistar, this whole top, this is Moon Patrol, yeah. until there. Nice. And then Moon Patrol drops back in, okay. but Sinistar just goes straight down like Robotron. Right. So that's what that is. These is the this is that um, LCD that I've got in there in the Strike Force. Right. I got five of these. It's too big. Okay. Um, but it actually looks really cool. And I've got one of those Ultimark. Ah, U360, yeah, the 360 yeah. Ones, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, because um, wow, Sinistar has that 49 nice. way right. joystick. So when you play this on MAME, you're just going too fast. Yeah, yeah, click, 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 click. Yeah, again, but that is just super smooth. Yeah, and like if you press it only that much, you'll move slower than that. Yeah. I don't really know the 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 layout of the 49 way. Is it? Well, it must be well because it's it's an analog. Yeah. So as you move it, you're it you're, did. You're, yeah. You're changing the level like you would on a. So that's what I thought because I mean it's not just an on-off. 
Yeah, so yeah, in MAME, this game's ridiculous. Yeah. But putting it onto this, it's cool. It's just, you know, it's the hectic game that Williams always did. I wonder how many, do you know how many other games support that? Okay. Um, I know Sporting Bubbles. Games. Okay. The Bubbles, which, I don't know if you've played Bubbles. It looks yeah. a bit weak. Out of all the Williams yeah. games, it's not... It came out the same day as Sinistar. They made right. Bubbles and Sinistar at the same time. Right. Um, and that was, what, 83? So then everything sort of fell apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know that those two. But there might be others. But, yeah, I just had this joystick lying around. I've had this joystick for about three years. Right. <laughs> and I had no idea. You know, I was like, eh, it doesn't click. It doesn't yeah, yeah, feel yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But then this game sort of... This game came up because I was looking at building a, a cocktail, a cockpit, sorry, cockpit cabinet um, for something. Right. And I was just looking up cockpit cabinets. And the cockpit cabinet of Sinistar is ridiculous. Right. And I was like, what is, what is that? So, you know, look in and I see the game. And then I played the game and it's, you know, you've got to rush and you've got to collect all the crystals to make the bombs before the little red guys collect them all and build the Sinistar which shouts at you and kills you instantly. So there we go guys. Um, thanks heaps man. That's for, all right. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to come thank over you. because, yeah, <laughs> no, seriously. Um, the, the, just seeing, and we have to thank Roy too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Half yeah. the collection here is Roy's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, no, thanks again, and um, and for you guys out there, uh, definitely come down and, and, and enjoy this collection with Michael as well. Thanks for being such a great host, and uh, wish you all the success with this business too. Yeah, um, thank you. What a great thing to have in terms of the things that you love. Yeah, exactly. And, and yeah. you can earn a bit of keep out of it. Yep. Um, I'm not, I'm, you know, I come to work. This is work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not not yeah. many people have this as, as their work. Lucky, lucky. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, take care of yourselves. Look after your, yourself and, um, you know, fix your games and play your games and try and continue building your collection so one day you can aspire to have something like this. And if you've got things that you've got no space for, yeah, hey. bring, them, bring them down. <laughs> bring to them down. But, uh, no, thanks again. And uh, look out for the next episode, guys. Seeing you back. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. And there'll be uh, hopefully some more videos in the future down here at Player One. Yeah, anytime. Awesome. Yeah. And so until next time, ciao for now. Yeah. <laughs>